hey what's up so I'm following up on the latest series that I created it's the create entity adapter and uh, there is something really important that I forgot about is how we can like manipulate or CRUD or using a CRUD functionality from the create entity adapter on the relational data that we stored and it got actually pointed out in this comment here by log delay and uh, yeah, so basically I'm gonna try to fix that issue or implement this thing in front of you. I didn't like pre-done this and now I'm recording, I'm doing it uh, live with you. So just as a recap, this is our app and of course we need to run the Polux API. Now refresh, it should work. So these are our comments and we have tags and likes. And if you go and hit the network tab, click on the network tab you should see how the response looks like. So we have comments, array, and inside of each one of the, of the comments, body ID, and array of likes, and array of tags. And our current Redux state will look something like this. So comments, and we have IDs and entities. These are from the create entity data. This loading comes from, from here. So as you can see, I'm accessing or calling the get initial state from the comments adapter and passing a predefined state to merge it together so we have loading and we have also another entity adapter state for the likes and the tags but the issue here you can't know uh, if the comment has specific tags or not or likes as you can see the entity is just a source ITs and body so this is the first thing we need to uh, fix so we are we here having the comments as you can see this is how we build it and this is a funk which means it will dispatch multiple actions and we need to handle them. So if you go down, as you can see, you are handling the pending, fulfilled, and rejected. So on pending, we are setting the comments and likes and adapters using the predefined functions from the adapter. So let's go and modify the comments data to hold an array of IDs and array of tags. So, it, so we know which comment or which like belongs to which comment. Uh, it's really easy. So we just need to get the likes. As you remember, each comment will have ID, body, post, and likes. Uh, sorry, ID, body, likes, and tags. And we need to create like likes IDs. This will be likes dot map. So like, and now like dot ID. So let me just format the code. Like this and we need to do the same thing for tags so tags IDs will be tags and this will be tag this is tag to ID by the way I think there is a library called normalize normalizer uh, it will do something like this for you well, with like a simpler way instead of writing all of this logic but uh, maybe that in another maybe I'll do this in another series but this is uh, another way and it's a, it's a little bit famous as you can see so yeah let's just continue and this now if I hit enter and refresh we should see something different in our Redux state so this is it now open comments entities and as you can see each entity now have IDs of likes and IDs of tags so this is nice now now when you select like uh, all the comments it will return to you an ID of likes or an array of likes IDs and array of tags IDs. Now you loop over those and go select them from the tags uh, slice from the store and that's it. Or from the tags property here in this, this same state. Actually I think we are doing some selectors right. Yeah let's just display all the comments just to show to you that this will contain an array of IDs. So this is all comments. This is the array of uh, the IDs of the like the likes and the tags. You can maybe customize the selector. This one, sorry. Yeah, you can maybe cust create custom selector to resolve actually the IDs for you or the tags or the likes. But uh, I don't think it's that yeah, necessary. And I think the next thing that you might have in mind: what will happen if I delete the specific tag? It should be deleted as well from. Sorry, I need to go here. Then 
if I deleted a specific tag, for example, this, it should be removed from the tags IDs array in the comments. And from the tags entities as well, here and from here. So we can actually do this. So, but the first thing, when I actually delete a tag, so remove a tag by ID, we will get as an action the, this ID. We actually hard coded this one uh, just as a demo. So this is how we remove it. We get the ID for it, but now we need to delete this from the uh, from the adapter that belongs to the tags, which I think we this was this one remove by tag ID. So tags adapter did remove one. We pass it the tag ID. This is the payload, and we pass it the tags from the step to do this thing there. And this will remove the ID and the entity from the tags. So now one of these, now they are uh, nine. They used to be 10. So let's take a look again. So these are now 10 from zero to nine. If I hit remove by tag ID. Now, as you can see, this one have been removed. It's the one at index zero. And by the way, this does not send an HTTP request to the backend and uh, yeah, it does not do that. So now we need to remove it from the comments. But this won't work because we don't know if this tag belongs to anything because this is how it looks like. We just have an ID and a job type inside that tag. So we need here, when we map the data, to store the tag or to, yeah, to store the comment ID there. We need to do it somehow inside each tag and inside each like. I think to do this, we need, so this is data dot, I think, I think, I think first thing we need to do the following. So const map data, since our response returns in this format, maybe there is a smarter way. So we will, look, we don't have uh, like an ID for the comment here. So we will loop through the data and for each like we will go and insert the current ID, this one for the comment here and here. Maybe there is a smarter way. So data.map and we have the current that I would call it, yeah, comment. So we will return the comment itself. Now tags will be equal to comment dot tags dot map. And for each tag, I will just return it with a comment ID will point to the comment dot ID. I will do the same thing for the likes. So this is a like, this is like this. And actually we can remove the body of the function. Just return an object like this. And we need to use the map data here. And this should do it, hopefully. So go to the Redux, open the state here or we'll go to comments go to the likes we should see inside each entity a comment id as you can see so we like it's like building a small relational database on the front end this is how this feels to me so now when you remove by tag id we have the action this is this uh tag so we need to select that tag and get the comment id right so tags id dot select I think dot get selectors dot select by ID and pass to it the state then the ID. So state dot tags then uh, the ID which is the tag ID. So const tag and now let's just console log that to make sure. So let me refresh. As you can see, when I click on it, on it uh, the first time we will see the tag, this is it. So we have now the comment ID. Let's go and delete that. We can actually destruct like this. So we have the comment ID. Now we need to remove only the tag ID from the tags ID inside that comment. I think we can use 
I think we can select that comment, so comment equal comments adapter dot get selectors dot select by ID give it the state itself because we have the IDs and the entities and the root of the state points to the comments. Now this will be the comment ID. So console load comment. This feels like an ORM. Maybe that's why, uh, I mean, maybe you heard about it. There is like a proposal that will make you write backend code inside your React and that will uh, render on the backend. Anyway, so this is the comments. We have the tags ID. Now we need to remove one of these. So to do that, I think we can use, uh, I think we can use something like this. So comments adapter dot update one. This will accept the state. Now this is the new uh, entity we need to update. So it will find that one by the ID. So we need to pass it an ID property. This will be the comments ID or comment dot ID, right? And now the new data you want to merge, which I think exists inside the update. I can't remember what the update one will look like. Maybe, yeah, let me see how this was called. Changes, okay. So, yeah, then changes. I will just add the comment itself. Now I need to add a new tags array. So tags IDs will be equal. I have the tag ID. It will be equal to the comment dot I, dot tag IDs dot filter. So remove the one that we already trying to remove from that array. So this should do it. This looks uh, crazy, but yeah, it should do it. So before the change, let's go to our Redux, go to Entities, go to State, go to Entities. I think I think it should be in this. I'm not sure, but yeah, let's try to remove. As you can see, we used to have 10 tags IDs, now we have eight. So this is the remove my tag ID action. Let's go to def, you will see. Yeah, go to def, then go hit raw. You will see the tags IDs here have been changed inside the comments entities. Uh, the tags entities, one of them have been removed inside from the entities and from the IDs. So yeah. Uh, I think that's how you will manage relational database or relational data, sorry, in create entity adapter when you are trying to remove or update or stuff like that. Um, I hope this was useful or answers any questions. And by the way, this data or this HTTP requests is uh, request is locally and it comes from this tool. I already showed that to you, but in case you are wondering, maybe you are watching this uh, video before the other videos. But yeah, just again, this is a complete for this series, these six videos. I will upload this right now, and uh, bye.